we're making a cob house, right? And a lot of people will ask, what is cob? It's not corn on the cob. This is actually what cob is. So it's a little ball of mud. And so we're putting them on top of the walls and then blending them together in order to raise the walls higher and higher until the point where we're done. You are definitely getting dirty building this cub house, so it's convenient that we love getting dirty. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in, remember to hit that subscribe button. We're currently working on building a tiny home out of Cobb. We started this project last year and we've documented the whole build. You can find the rest of the episodes of this build in our Cobb Home playlist. Enjoy! So this is the clay that we use to mix the Cobb. It reminds me uh, when I was younger, my dad had this nickname for me. He used to call me Mudley because I was always dirty. I'd go out and play and it was impossible for me to come back with clean clothes. Like, I would get dirty no matter what. In my case, I was lucky that my parents both are from the countryside and they never had problem with me getting dirty. And <laughs> I feel like that's part of my free spirit. Like, I don't care. Now that the wall is getting a little bit higher, the bucket's not tall enough, so we gotta up our game. I remember when I was babysitting this like four or five year old and it was the end of plum season and so the plum trees had all these plums on the ground and we went outside and we were squishing them and jumping on them and having the most fun and his grandma got home later on and she was so upset that he was so dirty. And for me, I, I feel really lucky that my mom never stopped us from doing something be because we were gonna get dirty. Like she let us get dirty, she let us play in the mud. And I think that's a requirement. Like if you wanna do a cob house, you are gonna get dirty. We're very excited because we're ready to put two crystal cubes and we're thinking to put three more cubes today. I don't know if you can tell now, but the wall, the height of the wall is coming up quite a bit. Uh, the whole point of the walls being as high as they are is because of the loft. So we want the other wall is to be high so we can sit up in the bed comfortably, which means we need to keep raising the walls. I think that there are some things that you miss when you are like afraid of getting dirty. Most of the time, children are the most creative human beings and we don't let them sometimes play outside in the park or with mad because parents or people, they don't like them to get dirty. This is where we're planning to put the loft for the bed. So we need it to be tall enough where the mattress is here and then I'm also able to sit comfortably, which means the walls need to be about this high, I'm thinking. Something like that, we'll see though. I wouldn't have been able to do a lot of things if I needed a shower every day, like uh, climbing up to Everest Base Camp. I did that a couple years ago. I didn't shower for two weeks and that was just like something I had to do in order to two take weeks? that trip. 10 days. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, so the secret to get rid of these cracks is to blend together this dry cob with new wet cob. So first we get it wet, and then we're gonna get some cob and put it on top and blend it together. So then as we get higher up, it's all one piece. I'm the kind of person that gets dirty easily, so it's part of myself. Like when I have been working in restaurants, my boss has always told me like, oh Laura, you are a mess. It's because at the end of the day, I don't care if I get my clothes dirty. We're planning to put the crystal cubes uh, all around the house. So in order to put them in the same height, we're level the walls. And we're using these holes to level each wall. So this is the highest point and we're going to level with uh, the other side of the wall. So here's the water level and it's matching the opposite side. So I'm gonna mark this point on the pillar and then we're gonna put the crystals at the same height. When you're living within society, like everyone 
has these norms that you're supposed to follow. One of them is wearing clean clothes. One of them is showering every day. And it's like, okay, yeah, that works for some people. And I'm not saying you shouldn't shower. I mean, like, do what you want. I just think that when you teach kids that you have to do these things, and if there's an opportunity to do something else, but it would require them not to shower, not to have clean clothes, they shouldn't do it, they miss out on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I think it just, like, it teaches us to conform to the norm. <laughs> so fun getting dirty like and just not caring like when you when you're able to get dirty without caring at all like yeah <laughs> it's freedom especially if you're in nature it's so amazing getting dirty when you're in nature for example earthing or grounding i think it's a great experience And you can have the opportunity to play like a kid and just don't care, they don't care. I used to love when it rains and jumping and playing outside. Yeah. And sometimes we forget when we get older. That's yeah. a lot of fun. And I think the most sad is when you see a kid that's scared to get dirty. Because it's so, it's natural to just want to play and get dirty and messy and let loose. And when parents forget to get dirty themselves and to get silly and to play in the mud, sometimes it rubs off on your kids where they're like, I don't want to get dirty. And you miss out on so much. It had been a nice experience building the house and getting dirty and just feeling comfortable with us not being clean all the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.